Today, I am making a football team comprised solely of content creators. And yes, I am talking about American football, not that pansy stuff they're doing over in Europe and South America. Okay, we're gonna be representing the first and greatest country of all time, the US of A today. There are going to be a lot of surprises of people who I'm sure you guys didn't even expect to be on this roster, and I hope that you guys can see the vision just how I see it, because I think this team could go pretty far in whatever league they're placed in. But if you think that you can make a better team than me, let me know in the comments. Let's get right into it. All right, defensively first. For my safety positions, I have chosen Moist Critical and XQC. For a safety, you need someone who's reliable. When I'm looking at Charlie here, I'm seeing the most reliable guy that you could ask for. Anytime any news breaks out, boom, Moist Critical's on it. You already see Penguin Zero in your home feed the day it happens. When we go to XQC, he might be in his own little world, but at free safety, you can kind of get away with that. Like when I played youth football, let's just say the kid who needed a helper in school, we put him at free safety. You know what I'm saying? And also, he's reliable when it comes to getting viewers, let's be real, so he can just bring in more of the fans for us. Moving on, we got the cornerbacks. Who do we have at corner? Boom! I have Foosley and I have Nick A30. Why, Chadley? Why might you have these people here? Well, it's simple. Foosley, if you watched her little basketball stream recently, you would have known how she played jump rope when she was younger. That's a big deal. Or do you even say played? I don't know. She jumped rope. That's what I'm trying to say. She jumped rope. And so I was kind of a du double dutch demon back in my day. They call me that. Were you on the ropes or were you a jumper in the double dutch? What do you mean? Of course I was jumping. Okay. That's a big deal because corners, you need to be able to jump high. When those receivers are trying to moss you, I need someone to jump up there and knock that bad boy away. Foosley's the girl for the job. Now when it comes to Nick A30, I think he's the perfect guy for the job. Cornerbacks, they have pretty big egos. When you look at Nick A30, he's the self-proclaimed king, so. You're the king, I'm the king. Oh, crap. I think he's gonna be the perfect fit. We're gonna skip the linebackers, we're going to the defensive line. We're gonna start left to right. We got Isaac Y. Look at the size on this guy. That's him next to Yummy. That's a real picture. That isn't, that is, that isn't messed up in any way. That is genuinely Yummy's height, and he's that tiny compared to Isaac. He's got the body for it, and he's just all business. I mean, look at his face right there. He means business. That's my defensive end. And next up at defensive tackle, we got the one and only Jared Schlatt. Why do we have Schlatt here? Well, it's quite simple. One, look at his beautiful face. That's just already, you need him on the team. Secondly, we got him at defensive tackle. He's a big guy. He can fill up the holes. He's not massive. He's just big enough to where he can still have some athleticism sneaking in there. Get out, everybody. And I think he's going to be a good addition to the team. Also put him at defensive tackle because he's probably going to make some silly little jokes on the line of scrimmage, get the offensive linemen off their game a little bit. I think that's the right move. And piggybacking off of that, we got Laser Beam next up. He's also going to be funny, going to be saying some weird stuff that's going to throw off the other team. And what's more important is that he's Australian. I mean, I think that's the best criteria you could possibly have for anybody that you want to go, just go after the ball. I'm going to want an Australian. He's fought off rattlesnakes, tarantulas, all this different stuff living down under. What do you think a 400 pound man in front of him is going to do? Nothing. And lastly, I got Jitty on a defensive end and for one reason, one reason only. Look at his little bio here. Retired menace. I need that guy to get out of retirement and then right here on my defensive line, he can be a menace to that offensive line. He can hit that swim move, boom, pop that running back, a quarterback that's coming off the read option, doesn't matter, gideon has got him. Next up, we got our linebackers here. We got on the left side, Hassan Piker. Have you seen the man? He's freaking massive. I'm gonna want him. He also seems like he's kind of athletic, seems like he could be a little bit faster than some of the guys we got on the line. On the other side, on the strong side, we got big man Joe over here, baby. He be in the hills. In the hills, fucking dude. I've been in the hills, fucking dude. He's got good size, he's muscular. I feel good about Joe putting him in linebacker. And lastly, at middle linebacker, we have What happened, Jake, man? We used to love each other. Hot water recently, but listen. Listen, he's played football before and he played linebacker before. I think. I'm pretty sure. I didn't. 
I don't really. I'm pretty sure he played linebacker. I, you can fact check me. Let me know. Today he's in the WWE. What happened, have Jake? to believe that Logan's still in the best shape, probably than mostly everybody on this team. I gotta put him to be the leader on my defense. He's older than most people. He's been around. He knows how to handle these situations. Kind of. I'm putting him in the middle linebacker. And last but certainly not least, we have our defensive coordinator. Who am I putting here? But none other. Than Cy freaking Kuno. Why do I have Cy Kuno here, you might ask? Well, it's simple. It's so simple. Have you seen him play Among Us? Have you seen how many times he's had to defend himself from being called the imposter? I mean, come on, he's a whiz. He's a master at that kind of stuff. He can be the defensive mastermind to pull all the strings that I need to make this team elite. So that was the defense. That was comprised of a lot more beefier people. I'm trusting these guys to get it done when it matters most. Bend but don't break type of mentality. And now let's move on to where it gets real juicy. Let's get on to the offense. All right, now we are on to the offensive side of the ball where things are getting juicy, baby. And I mean that kind of literally. Look at this O-line, baby. On the right side of the line, we got Courage JD and Tim the Tatman. That chemistry is unmatched. They might bicker a little bit, that's okay. We just need two big dudes on that right side of the line, on that strong side, and I need them to be in sync. That's why we got those two there. We got Queso here at left guard, it's pretty obvious. We I needed a big body up front. I gotta trust Queso with that. I mean, it, the picture is literally him at Waffle House. I don't know if you can oh tell, there God. you go, it's him at Waffle House. And then we kind of have a surprise at left tackle. I was kind of running out of guys who were a little bit on the bigger side who I could trust on the line. But I'm going to put KSI at left tackle, arguably the most important lineman position. I think he's athletic enough to get back there, do the steps right to defend that quarterback. I'm going to trust KSI here. It's a bit of a gamble. I know he's a lot smaller than most of the other linemen out there. But I'm going to trust him with his athleticism to get the job done. And lastly on the line, we got our man S fan here at center. I think out of most people on this team, he knows a lot about football compared to the rest. I think that we need someone who's head smart about football at center, and s -Man, he's got the body for a center. Let's put him there. Next up, we got our tight end. The tight end, pretty glue position. So we got our glue man, Mr. Doug Doug. It does not get any more glue than this, baby. He turns on the stream, he gets the job done. He's all reliable when it comes to the content. We're putting Doug Doug there. He's got the size for it. I trust that he's athletic enough to get out there and catch a pass when he needs to, but he can also lay down the lumber and block someone. Next, we got our halfback. I think this one was, I mean, it's in his name. We had to do I show speed, baby. You kind of want a crazy guy at running back, and speed fits the bill perfectly. Literally, in his name is speed. He's fast. He's going to be able to get around guys, and if he needs to get his head down, and pop somebody, he can do that too. I trust speed at running back. That might be our best player on the team. Next up, we got our wide receivers. Boom, here we go. We got Valky Ray. Have you seen her play dodgeball? Did you see how many balls she was catching in that tournament? It was pretty impressive. Over here, we got Sketch on the right side. We know he likes to touch balls. I, I gotta trust that he's the man for this job. I mean, did you see the one-on-one -on -one that he had with his fellow teammate Speed here? I mean, the, the guy kind of dusted him, and he caught that ball pretty well. I'm going to trust speed and receiver for that. And lastly in slot, we got Kai Sinat. I was watching Kai Sinat hitting the gritty on Twitch. This is when I let my Riz take over, and I became the Rizzard of Oz. You need a lot of people to buy tickets. Kai's going to bring that in. And usually the slot, a little bit of a shorter guy. I trust Kai to get the job done at slot. And lastly for the players, we got the quarterback, baby. Let's see who it is. None other than Dr. Disrespect, baby. I mean, he's got the arm talent. He's got the swagger. He's got the moxie. Hold on. I'm getting a call. Yeah. Uh-huh. He did what? He, to, to a minor. To, you said to a minor, not a 49, to a minor. Okay. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. So we're not doing Dr. Disrespect. 
I think I have a better guy at QB number two. He encapsulates what it means to be a quarterback. He's got the good face. He's got the good character. He's got the charisma. He's going to answer the questions well and in a funny way at the press conferences. I trust this guy to be the face of our franchise. And that guy is none other than Cody freaking Co, baby. Let's go. I got to trust him. Haven't seen the arm talent necessarily, but he has that quarterback look. Hold on. I'm getting another call. Give me one second. Uh -huh. 17 year old he was 25 uh -huh. gotcha so that's a no on it okay uh -huh. yeah. yeah okay mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah so we're not doing Cody Co. We have a new quarterback though. Quarterback number three. I trust this guy. I honestly he kind of fits the doctor and the Cody combined. I gotta believe that this guy is gonna end up being our right choice. Quarterback number three, but number one in our hearts, Will Neff, baby. I mean, look at the picture. He's already got the pose. I can even just see him rearing it back. Boom, finding his target and sketcher, Valkyrie Ray. I got to believe that he's going to be the right guy for the job. I understand we couldn't have the last two guys, but I think that this is for the best. I'm taking Will Neff. I trust this guy. He already kind of looks like Gardner Minshew. I think he's a great quarterback option for this YouTube team. Now with the offensive coordinator, we need a guy who's going to know how to scheme some things up. Maybe even scam some things up. That's right, I'm talking about none other than Ludwig, not your friend, Ogden. He's here at offensive coordinator. He's going to know how to manipulate a defense pretty well because he loves the scam. We all know this. Ludwig will get it done. I trust this guy at offensive coordinator. Finally, last but not least, the leader of the whole team, the guy who's going to figure out how to make this team work together and get wins, Mr. Beast, baby. We got our guy at head coach. I mean, he's the most subscribed YouTuber, I think, ever, probably. He knows how to connect with all these people. He's connected with most of them before. Hold on. I'm so sorry. I'm getting another call. I'm not sure what this one is possibly be about all right how's it going oh it's like the worst one. Oh, oh it's like really bad faking things ava and yeah ava did the thing that that the other two did. okay uh-huh i'm sorry why why is he called delaware what's going on with that uh -huh. gotcha. okay so we're gonna have to step away, step away from him thank you mm -hmm. So we're actually not going with Mr. Beast at head coach. Instead, we got Mr. PewDiePie, baby. We got good old PewDiePie, the guy that we all love. I know he's happy. He's in Japan now. He's chilling out with Marcia and his baby Bjorn. His last and final run to reclaim that YouTube crown. Let PewDiePie lead this team to greatness in this football league. I trust PewDiePie to be the head coach, be the right guy put the pieces in place to give our team the best chance at victory. PewDiePie is our guy. So that was my football team made up of YouTubers. If you think that you can make a better team, let me know in the comments because I guarantee you there are so many of you guys who are just already typing on your keyboard. Oh, um, actually, you forgot me showing at kicker. Yeah, well, it was obvious that he was doing my kicker. That's why we didn't have a special team thing, okay? But in all seriousness, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.